The new Dongfang EV EX1 Pro was formally unveiled in China for 55,700 RMB or 7,800 USD. The news just came as a blast to those questioning the affordability of electric automobiles. Not only is it super affordable, it packs certain features that had earlier been associated with the luxury segment. The Dongfang EX1 Pro is just another piece of the bigger picture in China's plan to occupy a significant market share of the world. The Dongfang is the second largest automaker in China, with a history spanning more than 50 years in the industry and an annual production of more than 3.5 million vehicles. With combustion or electric mobility, Dongfang has a number of models in the personal vehicles, SUVs, small trucks, trucks, and buses. One of the market's leaders for green automobiles is Dongfang. Through its subsidiary to Dongfang Motor Groups, the firm develops and markets vehicles under its own brands, including Vanusha, Fengdu, Voya, Aeolos, and Forthin, as well as under foreign branded joint ventures including Dongfang Honda, Dongfang Nissan, and Dongfang Pushe Citron. 79% of sales in 2021 were made by cars of foreign brands under some of the above mentioned brand names, including specifically created EV brands like Voya. It also manufactures electric vehicles. It's a company of many firsts, having produced China's first updated wheel loader in 1966 and being the first company in China to start manufacturing heavy equipment. Dongfeng has played a crucial role in China's infrastructure, growth, and modernization. Dongfeng operates 24 manufacturing locations worldwide. Most recently, Dongfeng purchased Huta Stalawawala Dresata, a leading bulldozer manufacturer in Stalawawala, Poland. Dongfeng now has a strategic footprint and access to European markets, which is possibly due to the recent acquisition. Among Chinese manufacturers, Dongfeng is famous for producing the highest quality goods and the company aims to gain international recognition for its goods. Other domestic producers use its prices as a standard and frequently copy its designs, which is pretty normal for a leading brand. It also produces parts and collaborates with overseas businesses in addition to manufacturing commercial and consumer automobiles. The largest of the joint ventures, DFL, or Dongfang Nissan, was established in 2003 and operates under the Dongfang Nissan Passenger Vehicle Company division. The DFN division also manufactures automobiles using the Infiniti and the Venetia logos. To unify Nissan with China's activities under DFL, in 2017 DFL purchased 51% of the shares in Zhengzhou Nissan to a total of 79.651% from its own company Dongfang Automobile Company Ltd. Dongfang and Nissan share a long history together. Early on, Nissan provided Dongfang with technical support as they developed diesel-powered Nissan trucks from complete knockdown kits. Nissan stayed with Dongfang with the Chinese state started granting foreign automaker market access through joint ventures. Nissan's technological support for the Chinese industry was substantial and all-encompassing as evidenced by the fact that in 2011 about 70% of the items Dongfang produced had some connection to Nissan. The automakers combined sold 9.96 million vehicles in nearly 200 countries in 2016. Dongfang Motor Group Company, LTD, and the Renault Nissan Alliance have launched a new joint venture to jointly develop and market electric vehicles in China. To meet the demand of the Chinese market, the new joint venture, EGT New Energy Automotive Company, LTD, will concentrate on the core competencies of each partner and fully utilize the leadership of the Renault Nissan Alliance in electric vehicles as well as Dongfang's resources in the new energy sector. The Alliance and Dongfang will jointly develop it on the Renault Nissan Alliance, a segment SUV platform. It will make use of the Alliance's expertise in cost-effective car design and global leadership in EV technology as well as Dongfang's low manufacturing prices. To establish the new joint venture, Renault Dongfang and Nissan investment company LTD have signed a contract. Nissan will hold 25% of EGT, Renault will have 25%, and Dongfang will hold the remaining 50%. The newly established EGT is headquartered in the central Chinese province city of, of Xi'an. The Xi'an Dongfang plant, which can build and sell 120,000 cars annually, will be where the electric vehicle is made. The Alliance is the market leader in zero-emission vehicles and is now working on the most cutting-edge technology. It has plans to provide connectivity and autonomous drive features and services on a variety of reasonably priced vehicles. Let's take a look at their new model. Some of the features may surprise you. Dongfang EV EX1 Pro is rebranded version of the Renault City KZE. Compared to the previous model, the new Dongfang EV EX1 Pro has improved. 
The new SUV has a multi-purpose big screen and an increased range of 331 kilometers. Whereas the previous model had a range of 321 kilometers, the Renault City KZ is the foundation of the Dongfang EV EX1 Pro. Each Dongfang produces a unique variant. A joint venture between Dongfang, Renault, and Nissan began producing the Renault City KZ in 2019, a battery electric variant of the Renault Quid. There aren't many changes to the exterior or size. The Dongfang X1 Pro's prior design featuring the traditional black and red hues can be seen in the entire vehicle. It has a length of 3,731 millimeters and a width of 1,579 millimeters, which is pretty good compared to the small compact SUV. The height of the car is just under 1,515 millimeters. We can observe the Dongfang EX1 Pro, although being a compact EV SUV, is making an effort to maintain a large space. It has some minor cosmetic changes. Its headlight has been upgraded and now it has a diamond cut alloy wheel. For a small car, it has 14 inch wheels and has a wheelbase of 2,423 millimeters. The Dongfang logo can be seen in the front with a chrome finishing. It doesn't have any fog lights, but comes with a super stylish front bumper. The rear tail light has not undergone any changes. It looks similar to the Renault Quit, but we can see a back lifted up a little bit. It also has an ample amount of trunk space to carry luggage. The rear end has EV1 Pro written just below the tail light. It has a fading red pattern on both sides, which makes the car even more attractive. The interior is straightforward as it is in all foreign variants, but Dongfang upgraded the upholstery and added a few pops of color. The center control has a technological feel because of the interior's black and red color scheme. It comes with an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. It comes with a standard 3-spoke steering wheel, which makes the interior even more attractive. With the sat-nav and multimedia now supporting speech interaction, the infotainment provides voice support. It has decent legroom in the back seat and makes the journey of rear passengers comfortable. Also, it has an ample amount of trunk space to keep. It does not come with a sunroof, which is disappointing for many. But under a price range of $7,800, it is a lot. They haven't compromised anything that affects the safety of the car. Airbags are standard on all six Dongfang EV EX1 Pro models, demonstrating the importance Dongfang has on driving safety. It also comes with ABS, a child lock, and child seat at this price point. Only a handful models have airbags, compared to other small EV SUVs on the market that are priced similarly. The car comes with the front electric motor, the 33 kilowatt electric motor, and the supposedly increased battery, 27.17 kilowatts an hour capacity, are both present in the Chinese specifications, which is perplexingly similar to the Dacia Spring. Despite being slightly smaller than its European version, it has a 100 kilometer longer driving range, making it a total of 331 kilometer range, which is highly impressive. You can charge your car during long trips while you enjoy your favorite food. In DC charge mode, it takes around 30 minutes to get 80% from 30. You can charge your car at home in slow charge mode and it takes around 4 hours to charge completely. The revised model also allows rapid charging, which most likely uses the same 30 kilowatt CCS as in the Dacia. For the new updated model, it appears the Dongfang brought the specification up to European standards. The car will undoubtedly be well-liked, given that cost range from $7,800 for the base model to $8,800 for the most costly one. $7,800 for an electric car at this price range is a huge deal for many consumers. It'll be the number one choice for people looking for a reliable and affordable daily commute which do not put a big hole in the wallet. No doubt, it will revolutionize the EV market and make other brands reduce their prices even more. We'd like to hear your opinion on the new Dongfeng EV1 Pro, so don't forget to leave your comments below and let's engage in a vibrant discussion. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification to receive notifications wherever we release new videos. See you soon.